Hey everyone, this is Tony from Odrive, and today I'm talking about Encryptor, which is our advanced zero-knowledge encryption feature. It allows you to encrypt files in any of the stores that you have linked to Odrive. And if you're not familiar with zero-knowledge encryption, it basically boils down to the fact that there's no possible way anybody else can access this data uh, once you put it into these containers. And so I'm going to go over how to do that very quickly. If you're curious about how we do the encryption and the algorithms and all that stuff, I'll put some links in the description below so you can look at that stuff. Um, in this case, we're just going to go through the process of creating a, an encryptor folder and using it on the desktop client. I'm on a Windows system here, but it's the exact same process on a Mac, and we even support this on the Linux clients as well. So you start off in the Odrive web client at odrive.com, and you'll see that you have an encryption tab here. If you click into that, it's just going to list the encryptor folders that you've created. I haven't created any yet, but I'm going to create one now. So create encryption folder. In this case, I'm going to put it into one of my Google Drive accounts, this Google Drive test account. And I'm going to create a new folder. This is a new encrypted folder that I want to use uh, with new data that I'm going to drop in there. So I'm going to create a new folder called Special Files and Continue. And here's where you can name, you can give the folder some additional context. So I can add some uh, context here for how the name is going to appear on the Odrive desktop client. So I'm going to, I'm going to add the storage name here so that I have some additional context. This comes in handy if you have multiple encryptor folders and multiple storage like I have. This is gives a summary of the relationship we just set up. I'm going to say create encryption folder and it says your folder is ready to go. And that's it, it's, it's set up. Now we just gotta go to the desktop client here. And I'm going to refresh. And you'll see that there's now an encryptor folder here that's been created because we now have at least one encryptor folder. I click into there and you can see this is the folder I just set up with the additional context I set there. So I'll click into that. And now Odrive is going to ask me for a passphrase to initialize this folder. So this is going to be the passphrase that's used to encrypt all the data that I put into here. So when I start dropping files in, they'll be encrypted with this passphrase. So I type it in here. I'll have to type it in twice. And you definitely want to make sure you don't lose this because there's no way for us to recover it for you. Um, nobody's going to have this key but you. And that's what makes zero-knowledge encryption so safe in Ironclad. So this folder is ready to go. All I have to do is start dropping data in here to encrypt it. So I have some important documents here. I'm going to just copy them in here. You'd probably move them most likely uh, if you're actually doing this because you want them to be encrypted. But uh, drop them in, and Odrive notices that some new files are in here. It starts. It's going to encrypt them locally and then upload them to my Google Drive. And that's it, it's all done. Now Odrive makes this seamless, so it doesn't look any different from your perspective on your desktop, which is intentional because you want it to be very easy and seamless to use. But if I go to my Google Drive account, you can see I have my special files folder here that I created, and I drill into there, and you can see that it's just a bunch of nonsense. The file names have been encrypted and the data has been encrypted, so these files are useless to anybody that would try to look at them outside of uh, of your desktop client where you've put in the passphrase. So nobody can access it but you, and now they're totally secure uh, using zero-knowledge encryption. And that's really it. That's all you have to do to set this up. You can set up as many folders as you want uh, on any storage at any level, and, uh, and you can edit them, you can copy them, just like any other files on your system, and Odrive will do all the work of encrypting and uploading. So if you have any questions about this, uh, you can head over to the forum, forum.odrive.com. That's where I always hang out. Uh, ask away. I'll answer any questions you have. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Thanks.